Hey everybody, this is Makai here and the wait is finally over. We're going to Barcelona. I'm actually very excited about this whole trip. But as for now, I'm basically packing up first and then after that, we're going to the airport and I'm gonna show you guys around. And then after that, we got to be here for about like nine hours on the plane today. And then we got to land on Madrid, Spain. So it's gonna be very excited. But yes, this will be my first time I'm going to a European country. So it's going to be very excited, but at the same time, we need to like, you know, we're basically a professional like travelers at this point, but we still have to be ready because we haven't been on vacation for a very long time for almost like, you know, since pre-COVID. And when we get ready, I'm going to change and then we're just going to go straight to the airport and I'll see you there. So for the airport, there isn't that much to show, but I just want to show you like how busy it was and you know, it's summer and even though it's a weekday, people still want to go on vacation. So the best advice I can give you guys is to always go three to four hours before you want to go to your flight, especially when you're going international. But after all the crazy security stuff, we made it on early just in time, but we were the only ones there, which is okay, really. But so we decided to go to the lounge that we were pretty much members, so that's a really great thing for us. And here we are, we're just walking around, and you can see that the people were still not there yet for the next few hours. So the lounge was very nice. I really enjoyed it. This was my first time actually going to the lounge. So they have like a good buffet with some sandwiches, some fruit and juice and soda. And it's very nice that we could take some to the point also. Just think of this as a, as a way to like have a snack or something like that. Because it's just a matter of fact that it's gonna be a long flight. But and just another reminder that food is also included in our airline area. So it's actually quite interesting. Okay, so basically we could step out of the lounge and my sister wants to like walk around and see other things what's around the airport like originally what we wanted to do but right now we're just walking around everything's okay it's still quiet but you know you can see like everything else you know it's actually pretty interesting.
closed and until you leave the aircraft. Si han traído equipaje de mano, por favor, colóquenlo en los compartimentos situados encima de sus butacas o debajo de sus asientos delanteros, dejando despejados los pasillos y salidas de emergencia. Durante el despegue y aterrizaje, compruebe que es un mes. So I don't really like to do like show you guys all the security stuff but I might as well show you the immigration section where they only have one way open because we were very early. It was only 6 a.m. in the morning and doors still open till 7 a.m. So it's really nice to see like the airport for a little bit and take our time just waiting in line. I was sitting down for nine hours guys. I mean it just doesn't bother me to stand up for a little bit.
So on the first day that we went to Spain, or technically Madrid, we wanted to like go see my dad's cousins uh, because first of all, he hasn't seen them in over 20 years, and I think it's the best way to like see them again in Madrid. And the only thing about it is that they moved there, so it was very hard for us to travel. And considering that this was our first time stepping foot in Europe, I mean, it is quite a big deal for us since we always like to travel. And then not only that, it, when you like go to a new country, it's just this kind of adventure you're getting and try to learn like getting used to the environment and all the crazy stuff, especially with all the jet lag. I mean, we were just very tired, but you know, just looking around, it's just amazing. It's beautiful, but it's not the city. You have to remember that it's like the suburb area in Madrid. Although we do continue exploring Madrid and you're gonna see more of it later on. Especially when we only have two days to explore Madrid. I mean, we try to make it the best as we can as we also want to explore all over Spain. So it's really nice to step first in Madrid and then after that we'll continue like, you know, going around, driving around actually and see what there is to explore in Spain. And getting there wasn't too bad really, but we do have to go downhill and then that's where her house is. So it's a bit different from what you used to see in the US, but it's quite interesting. So we just stopped by and just talked for a little bit. I mean, we went to her house, but I didn't record anything because I wanted to talk to her. But I mean, we get to know like pretty much everything about what we've been doing before we're about to head out. So with all the family that we have in our tree, my dad's cousin is actually from Madrid, Spain. And basically I haven't seen him, my youngest cousin either. So the boy on my right is Alejandro. He's my youngest cousin. And this was actually my first time seeing him in person and actually my first guest to ever appear in one of my vlogs. So that's very nice to have. I am. I already did. Oh, this one is better. Yeah, ves? Alright, so 
between every appetizer, lunch, and dessert, you have to try paella. That's the number one for me. If you're going to Spain, I get this paella 10 out of 10 because it just tastes fantastic. This is something that most restaurants do in Spain. So I'll, let, I'll put it down in the description down below and then you can read it for yourself. <laughs> So yes, that means I have a dessert. I have chocolate and vanilla ice cream, which is very good, very simple. Uh, that's something that I really enjoy. And then everybody else also have a dessert too, which is very nice to have. So after we finished eating, we decided to check into our hotel, which we'll be staying for the next couple of days. And of course, because we had to switch hotels, and it's actually a really cozy hotel, and I'll show you. So first we check in with my uncle right there. And then after that, here's my aunt too. So we were just waiting around being patient. We then start talking to them before they head out. With just the four of us, after we unpack everything, we decided to like walk around Madrid and just stop by and eat at a restaurant nearby. So me and Lily got some movies and we also got some bread too. And this is like something to like finally relax after a very long day, 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. After that, I had some Mexican blue fin tuna tacos and it's very flavorful, very, maybe fulfilled but not too much. And it's good enough to along with my drink, so that's a very good way to like stop and just talk. It's so clean. Yeah, I just drink alcohol. I don't want to. Okay. It made a big deal. Look at this right here. That's the park. So cool though that we gotta see like the streets. Okay. Each one of those a million dollars.
So after we eat breakfast, we decided to go straight to Toledo and it only took us less than an hour to get there. So here's me, I decided just to record Toledo as soon as I get there because I want to try to get as much as I can and make sure I get the key moments about our trip to Toledo, especially for day two. Yeah, right here. Want to say something, Alejandro? Anything you want to say? Uh, we are going to work a lot. There you go. All right. I take this video as an example of what's key here in Spain because we're very new to this country. You can see my uncle's helping out my family here. Yeah, I'm about to show my aunt right here. But no, it's just you have to be like very patient and you know work things out because once we get to the point where we need to go Barcelona by ourselves, we definitely got to need some help along the way. That's a rock pigeon. I know my bird. He's a rock pigeon. And that one? Take a picture of like a pizza. I need to send it again. Should I send it to my kids? All right, so you guys gotta help me out with this because I've been doing a lot of research on it. Uh, I do know do sell love locks, and I know this they've been around since World War One. Yeah, I remember that most women, mostly women, usually will write down a log in honor of their memory, and that's why they put it onto the like the you know the railroad. So it's pretty nice to see like so many like locks of even modern ones like 2022. You see, and you can see like some people make one to the to this day. It's kind of crazy to see like how many are there. It's actually very nice and very fascinating to see. Since because there's a lot of stores that we visit by Toledo, I'll be talking over it. So the first thing we go into is the mini market. It was very small, like only one person could fit at a time. So I had to stay outside, but it's very nice to see like so many merch and how much they have to offer really. You know, it's like if for every market they have, you know, it's like they want to have a small items. You see the fans and stuff like that. Like something that toys will go crazy over, like, you know, the gloves, the trophies, the fake ones. You know, who doesn't want to feel pretty special? And they even have some small items that you can bring home, which is very awesome. I'll recommend Toledo as like a great place to stop by if you're thinking about going to Spain. And I think more importantly is that you, there's a lot of things you can do there, but just keep in mind there's a lot of walking and just don't go when it's like really too hot. So this is a very two-sided store. So first we have the swords, and I really like the swords. By the way, I really enjoy it. It's like they hold like a lot of history behind it, which is very unique. And more than anything, they also have like knives, and it has the hunting knives and all that stuff. So which is pretty cool. They have like every one of a kind. But then you go here, and then you have like some earrings and a jewelry, which is okay, really. I mean, they hold up very good. And then there's a lot of fans too. And it makes a lot of sense because Toledo is basically 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it makes sense about why there's like so many of them available. 
So this is ABC Radio 96.3 FM. I think it's a studio, I believe, but I think it's just very nice to see like where the building is at. And then nearby, it's a restaurant, and we didn't go there, but we were looking at the menu to see what it is. So I think one thing I really like about Toledo is that all the stores are like very much have a lot of variety into it. Like I'm not sure if most of them are local, but it's like you see something like when you're walking around and then you stop to see a store and you see something very fascinating. I think that's one thing I like like about Toledo mostly. So I think everybody, even my friends, will like this place. It basically, I really did not want to go to any U.S. chain restaurant or anything like that in Spain. I'm just tired of seeing Starbucks, guys. Like, come on. Okay, so after going back and forth around Toledo and learning about it, we decided to go to a restaurant that's nearby us. Mm -hmm. So this moment was pretty big for my sister Lily because she's 18 years old. And then when you're 18 years old in Spain, you're allowed to drink like wine, sangria, and all, and pretty much any drink that's like alcohol in it. So it was a pretty big thing for my sister Lily to try something for once. So I ordered the beef cheek brioche with pickle salad and it tastes fantastic. Another 10, it's basically another 10 out of 10 rating for me. But I also really like how everybody gathers around and we start talking. Well, we stay in the restaurant for like a couple of hours, so that's like a breaking point. But then we just continue looking around. So this is like one example. You see like all the antiques again, and you see the jewelry, and basically we're just continuing walking around. It is a lot of nice stuff, guys. I mean, there's so much shit I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's here, Anna. As I mentioned, Toledo was the hottest place on earth, guys, at that time. I have a lemon slushy right there, and I drink it to the fullest. And then it's like it happens to appear at this store, which is pretty interesting. You know, you have like so many like jewelry and scissors and you know, they have drinks available, all different kinds. Oh. And what are you eating right now? Uh, caripo. caripo. Okay. Typical over Spain. Alright, cool. Yep. So we did go over like all over Toledo, but we decided to like just head back because it was just becoming too hot. It was like noon there, so we just decided to just head out and just go back to Madrid, which is the right thing to do. I think this is the best way to end our trip to Toledo. 
I see like a whole map of Toledo, which is like basically on the floor right here. And somebody like draw it all the way through, which is insane. Mad respects to them. So this is our final time at Madrid because after that, we're going to Barcelona. So that's why I got in part one here. But this is a really great place to visit in the alley. If you're wondering what I bought, I just bought a nice shirt just for Barcelona. And you guys see it in part two because I really enjoy wearing it. It looks very nice on me. Okay, so look at this, right? We So we have the Gucci store right there. It looks really nice, right? But then when I stop and turn around to see what other stores they have, we also have Pandora. <laughs> and it's so funny. It's like I'm going back to the mall. And then we got Ray-Ban right there. And finally, I never seen this store before, but Carolina Herrera. So if you like any of the four stores or any American store, then this place is for you guys. So obviously, Gucci is not for me, but it's for my mom and my sister Lily because it is a lot cheaper here. So I don't blame them. They, if they got saved, it's better to be saving here. But then they have a lot of great stuff too. Now, I'm gonna show Alejandro, he's waving. So we just watch videos that way around and see what they like. And they really make some good purchases. So we went to an American Inspire restaurant in Madrid and it is actually a really good place. I mean they have everything you want. They got like shakes and they have like appetites like kessels and nachos and stuff. I mean it's kinda of crazy. I mean for anything like that, that's actually incredible. So I ordered something really huge. I ordered a pastrami sandwich. I couldn't even finish it because it was too much. But it was around midnight and I was so tired. But I had a really great time and I think that's the best way to end it because it just looks so good. So that wraps up my first two days in Spain. Thank you guys for watching. I had a really great time in Madrid and Toledo. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed my huge vlog and I really do enjoy it. Thanks for watching. This is Makai here. Stay tuned for part two as I'll be going over Barcelona and many more to come.